Hello YouTube and welcome to another video from Sofia, Bulgaria. Today we're outside of Belia station which is the end station on the blue line and we're going to go on another adventure around some of the stations checking out the interior but also getting out into the areas and seeing what random things are also some of the top tourist sites that we might be able to see in the centre as well. So let's go. Wow, I was looking pretty tired in this introduction. I do get more awake throughout the video, don't worry. But I'm loving the communist vibe of this area, so let's go into Abelia station and get a ticket. You can get a single ticket from the machine for one leva 60, which is about 80 pence at the moment. Or you can buy a day ticket, which is what I was using, which costs four leva or about two pounds, maybe slightly less. So great value. As you can see from the signs, this is the yellow line and the blue line. So the yellow line is at the first side and then up the staircase is the blue line, which we are going to be going on today. So here comes the train. Let's start the journey. I should also point out that if you do want the four labor day ticket, you have to buy that from the person in the kiosk and you have to get that validated every time you go through the barriers. So it's a little bit of a faff, but it's very effective for a day trip. At this point in the journey we got off at the second station which appeared to be in the middle of a motorway and leading on to some random tracks and farmyards so I was kind of wondering where the hell am I? So we've got off at the next station Lomska Shossa which the pronunciation was really fast on the metro so if you're Bulgarian feel free to correct me in the comments and um, we're looking for Severin Park there's meant to be a huge park around here so we're going to try and check that out if we can find it but currently on these random dirt tracks so who knows where that's gonna go let's see who doesn't love an adventure that involves crossing a rather rickety looking makeshift bridge across to a well fairly deserted looking farm So here I'm really just following the map on my phone and hoping that I'm going in the right direction towards Severin Park. It's kind of interesting to go through these places that you would just never go, that tourists don't go. So it's kind of seeing a bit of the real Sofia and Bulgaria that other people might not see. So it looks as though we may have actually made it through the park without getting lost or getting killed. Luckily it's during the day, that would have been very creepy to walk through at night. So by the looks of this, you can actually walk through the park. I'm not sure how much of a park park or how much of a forest it is, um, but it looks as though you can walk through from here to the next subway station. So at this point, there's no point going backwards to where I was before. So we're gonna try and walk through the park, see what's here and then get on at, I think it's Belly Dunav, which is the next metro station. So let's do this. As we go further in, you can see that it kind of turns from forest to forest meets park to actual park, which is good. This was a really nice, light, bright day for exploring, but obviously it was December, so it was extremely cold as well. And based on that rather chilly temperature, I think it was fairly unlikely that anybody visiting the park was going to be flouting any of these things on the sign. This is such a peaceful place to walk around. You can almost hear a pin drop inside the park. There's a slight bit of construction noise from away from here, but inside the park itself, it's really quiet. Maybe 10 or 20 people walking around or chilling. It would be a great place to bring your dogs as well. Really quiet, except for those extremely loud ducks, obviously. I think there's also way more to this park based on the map showing the size and expanse of it. But unfortunately on these winter trips, daylight hours are very minimal. So we need to get to the next subway station and head further towards the center of the city. Thank you. 
Here we're heading down a huge wide street or boulevard, they love a boulevard in Bulgaria, towards the next subway station, where we'll continue the journey. Let's get back underground into the next station and onto the train. After a short ride, we're getting off at the Central Railway Station to have a look around the Central Railway Station and also the bus station too. So far on the trip, everywhere has been pretty quiet, which is really nice for vlogging. So the next interesting and useful station is the Central Railway Station. You can see these graffiti tunnels that lead through from the subway to the train station. So let's go and check out the station and see what there is to see there. Not sure why I didn't try and record a thumbnail in there. Maybe there's a clip missing. Anyway, seems like an opportunity missed. Outside, you can see the bus station. Here's the international bus station. Istanbul being one of the popular places to go from Sofia. And then just past here is the entrance to the train station. It would probably be pretty rude not to go and take a look inside, so let's go and look inside. It's kind of giving airport vibes, but actually this was the first place that I ever arrived into Sofia in 2014 on a night train from Bucharest, Romania. I've also arrived here on a train from Belgrade in Serbia, I think also in 2014, so quite a long time. But anyway, it's a cool place to look around. And as if by magic, we're swiftly moving on to the next station on our journey, which is Lavov Most. A lot of the stations, particularly on the green line as you'll see in a previous video, are quite modern and quite similar, but the design of this one is really unique, very different to any of the others. I really love the kind of burgundy colours and the street lamps. It just, it's almost like something from a movie and the feel of this is just a really nice for me. Next, we're going to head outside to see what can be found in this area. So we're getting very central in Sofia now and we're at the Lion Bridge. The Lion Bridge over the Vladaya River was built by Czech architect Václav Prosek in the late 1800s. It has a total length of 32 metres and took two years to build. This is a really nice area of the city, it's somewhere where I've stayed before. Very central but also kind of peaceful at the same time, good balance. Anyway, we're off back onto the metro to move on to the next station. Here we are at Serdica, which is right in the centre where there are a lot of cool things to see. Let's go outside. As you can see, just coming out of the station, there are all kinds of religious buildings, historical sites, ruins. This sign gives you an idea of how many different things there are to see. One of the better known and also most interesting sites in this area is the Svetonadelia Church. 
Let's go over the road and have a look inside that now. It's absolutely stunning on the inside. It wouldn't look out of place in somewhere like St. Petersburg. It has a similar feel and style to buildings there. These are the central law courts right at the bottom end of Fatosha Boulevard. Now just having a general wander through the centre, here's a quirky little outdoor eatery, really well lit, some cool graffiti, looks very nice. And heading across the park to another of Sofia's major sites, the Ivan Vasov Theatre. The National Theatre is both Bulgaria's oldest and most prominent theatre. It was built in 1906 and eventually opened on the 3rd of January 1907. You can see here it's beautifully decorated in time for Christmas and also very well lit. So that was the Ivan Vazov Theatre, which is absolutely beautiful with all of the Christmas lights and Christmas decorations around it. It also looks as though there are a couple of Christmas markets in the park behind me. So I'm going to have a look through those and then head back onto the subway so that we can try and do a few more stations before it gets dark. This was definitely the best day for weather so far in Sofia. So as we head into the Christmas market, you can see that a beautiful sunset is developing. Lots of typical European Christmas market type fare here, but it was really interesting because it wasn't somewhere that I was expecting to find a Christmas market. I didn't realize that it was such a thing in Sofia. And the atmosphere here, as with most Christmas markets, was festive and also just really nice. A lot of people having a good time. And of course, trying to get that perfect selfie. Heading away from the Christmas market now, let's see what the rest of the city centre has to offer. We build this castle of sand We hear the rush in the wind Yeah, we were close Here we're heading towards the Sofia Presidency Building under this beautiful sunset. You can see outside they have got similar guards to what we have in London in the UK. Not sure exactly what they're guarding or exactly how this works, but if any Bulgarian viewers want to enlighten us in the comments, that would be really helpful. And then immediately inside the gates, we are greeted with this stunning view. This is the Church of St. George, a late antique red brick rotunda which was originally built as Roman baths in the 4th century. It's considered to be the oldest building in modern Sofia. Are we going to be allowed to take a quick peek inside? I'm not exactly sure, but let's give it a go anyway and see what happens. Uh, oh. Looks as though we're going to get attacked. No, get out. I'm not exactly sure whether they were actually about to kick us out or not, but in any case, there's a lot more to see on this line, so let's get going. At this point we're going to head away from the city centre and towards Vitosha and although there are a few stops left I'm not exactly sure what's on them so let's just get off at a couple of them and see what's there. Whoa, funky lighting. So we've got off at the interestingly titled European Union Metro Station, which is a bit of a sore point for a lot of British people at the moment. Uh, the main thing 
it looks like the main thing here is a huge shopping center so let's go and have a look through the park center sophia and then we're going to go down to the last stop the tosha and see what's there in we go if there is anything vastly more important around this station feel free to let me know in the comments Fairly standard pre-Christmas shopping centre vibe, so it's back to the metro to see what else we can find. And this is our last train of the video, over to the final stop of Vitosha. So full disclosure, at this point of the day I was very tired and very hungry and went into yet another shopping centre to buy food and drinks where there was then a fire alarm um, and half of the shopping centre ran out and the rest of the people just stayed there as though nothing had happened. It would have made an excellent clickbaity title like Fire in the Vitosha shopping centre um, but unfortunately I didn't catch that on film. So after an action packed day through Sofia we've made it to the final stop of Vitosha, you can see the mountains in the background. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, comment and help me out to grow the channel. Thank you, see you in the next video.